Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech. Today we're going to compare the SG2 versus Lampho L6. We saw the L6 a bunch of videos in our channel and the SG2 before, so we're going to compare them between each other today. We will see which one is better and why. The SG2 smartwatch has a full rounded touch screen with 1.19 inch AMOLED and a good resolution. We have wireless charging and we have IP68 waterproof, app dial push, dial long bright, Bluetooth 5.1 and we have heart rate, blood pressure, heart pressure, top watch, music control, the remote take and also we have the ACG which is a benefit in the LG2 because none other smartwatches have this. So these are just a few specs about the SG2. In the Lampho L8 we have 0.98 inch touchscreen with good resolution and good colors. As you can see we have one button to turn it on and off. Also the L8 is made by aluminum so it's very good materials under this smartwatch. The bands are silicone and very easy to use them. Let's see now what we have in the software of the LG2. As you can see in the first page, we have this beautiful face. In the upper part, we have battery and QR code. Left, we have notification. Bottom, we have the weather. You can see we can enter the steps from the right. We have here the sleep monitoring. Next, we have heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen, and the ACG, which we will try later. We have here the menu. As you can see, we have running. And we have other options for sports. We have the history. When you press, as you can see, it immediately begins the sport. We have the music control. And we have here the options of the menu. As you can see, we have find phone. We have alarm clock and other things like this. Let's see what we have now in the software of the L6. As you can see, we can access the menu in either way. We have steps, blood pressure, we have the history of blood pressure, we have sleep, next we got activities, messages, and more. In more we have QR code, brightness, as you can see we can raise the brightness. We have find phone, stopwatch, version, and we have power off and the reset at the bottom. So this is all, we don't have any sports at all, which is very bad. Let's begin here some tests, starting from the SG2. We have here the history as I said, heart rate first option, let's see how fast it measures our heart rate. As you can see the first results are here, not so fast but again not so slow as well. We can complain for the speed, it's normal and honestly the LG2 works pretty good. The screen is very good as I mentioned in the beginning, it's AMOLED and the colors are just right. So you can see now the heart rate is still measuring which means we have a good result. You can see the 75 is normal for a human heart rate and now we have here the blood pressure. Let's see how fast it measures this. And we have the first result. Honestly, this took a little bit longer than I expected, but again, we can't complain. We have now here the blood oxygen. 
the percentage of blood oxygen you can see at the bottom we have the history and three of these options and we have the ECG after this As you can see we have the first result here 97% and this is a good result also you saw the screen timeout it's not so late so you can see it's very good the SG2 is a good smartwatch to own we have here the ACG now this is an option that not all the smartwatches have we have just a few smartwatches in our hand that we have ACG on them this is the first result as you can see pretty fast and pretty good honestly I'm impressed from the SG2 software and options how fast they work and how good they work let's see now what we can try in the L6 we have the blood pressure measurements here let's see how fast it measures it and if it measures close to the SG2 as you can see we have the first result we can say that it's very fast but we have the downside that we don't have anything else to test in the L6 we don't have any sports or anything else for health caring which is very bad for the L6 so we don't have anything else to do here this was all for today's video I hope you find this video interesting and helpful you will see now which one is better and honestly the SG2 wins in all day. Thank you very much for your time and support. Hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video with another smart device.